Cowboy fans, coming back at you with another video. You know what this is? Cowboy Legends for Life. And um, today, I'm pissed. How pissed I am? I'm, I'm EDP 445 pissed. That's how pissed I am. Yeah. I didn't sleep last night. Not much at all. Not really. Okay? And uh, and this this the, the the wonderment of this watching this game last night that had me filled with so much dread that you know it, it, it couldn't be helped but just just feel that we were not going to win this game. You know why? Well, yeah, well, we just think we wasn't going to win it because we have a coach, we have a team that's not that's just just unprepared. Let me just be. Let me just. Let me just. Let me just. Be a little more frank with you right now, okay? Let me let me reveal a little bit of myself, all right? I'm the type of man that believe in numerous advocacies. I um been involved in um, freeing political prisoners and organizations. I've been involved in um, um, gun rights, gun advocacy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the right to self-defense. You know? I've been involved in trying to formulate a civilian a, a police review board, okay? Because these cops out here, a lot of them are out of, out of their fucking skull, okay? I've been involved in um, um, rent um, pe women and pe people, women with children who could not pay their rent and were about to get evicted. We've been involved in trying to save them. All these organizations I've been involved in, political prisons, I've been also been uh, proud, proudly say I've been involved with the political prisoners as well, in, in political prisons that are in space in the United States prisons right now, okay. And there's a whole lot of them. People don't realize that this country's got a lot of political prisoners being been in jail for their political views, no crimes, nothing but their political views, okay. But um, one of the most biggest organizations I've always been involved in also was women's rights. Women's right to assembly, women's rights to vote, women's rights to um, 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 have an abortion. Those, those, those things. I'm not going to get into the, 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 the names of these organizations. It doesn't matter. But I've been involved in these organizations for many years. Okay? And um, in some ways, right now, I'm still sort of uh, involved in it. You know? I have a lot of, I have a numerous, um, what do you might call it, um, uh, 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 mentors that are very well known. Very well known in this country and around the world. But what I'm, like I'm most proud, like I said, is women's rights. Okay, with that, with that said, so what I say right now, this is going to be a little bit of a long video, but what I say right now has no bearing on my feelings toward women. So I want to apologize right out the front. Okay, but I'm be absolutely frank with you there's a difference and a reason for what we call a dick and a pussy yeah a dick and a pussy okay one fucks and the other one waits to be fucked okay what I saw last night in that Cowboys game on the sideline of the Dallas Cowboys was a head coach who constantly is always waiting to be fucked. So in other words, Jason Garrett is nothing but a pussy. Okay? Always waiting to be fucked. If you checked all the games, if you, if you understood the Cowboys had to play in sheer uh, athleticism and, and talent, we'd be 0-5 right now instead of 2-3. and 3. Because this man has no balls. So if there's a person that has no balls, what else does he have? A pussy. Waiting to be fucked. Well, I'm going EDP today. I'm going EDP on you today. I, I, I see why he goes to fuck off. You know, I always try to contain myself. I get angry sometimes when I always do being angry with Cowboy fans and all this stuff, but you know what? No. No, no. No. Uh -uh. I'm going EDP today because I'm fucking tired of this shit. Alright? We may just have to 
roll with it. We're just we're, we're fans. We're gonna have to roll with this season the way it is until this cunt fucking piece of shit pussy is fired. You understand? There is no reason why this piece of shit in overtime could not take that fucking short fourth and short. What was it? What? Well, a foot? A foot and a half? Why didn't have Dak Prescott giving the ball to Ezekiel Elliott when he, if, if, faking it when he could have fucking easily ran for it first numerous times last night? And you talking about a reference of pussies and dick? That, that fucking secondary in the backfield of the fucking Texans was waiting to be fucked and they never fucking pulled out the dicks. Dick and pussy. Now, concerning the dick, that's pretty much what Jerry Jones is, isn't he? Always, always fucking everybody, including his own fan base. You have to admit it to yourself. Now, I'm, I don't care what anybody say. I just tell, I don't care. Deshaun Watson threw for 375 yards. Let me tell you something. Deshaun Watson threw for over 300 yards in every single game he's played. He's looked like shit winning and losing the entire time. Okay? They fucked Deshaun Watson's ass up last night. They beat his ass. He was beaten. The Texans were done. But the pussy on the sideline never took a chance of dicking. He always waited to be fucked. And you get a chance. You sit there and you see these receivers. You see Deshaun Watson's receivers though. Okay? They're coming back for the ball. They don't give a fuck what angle it is, how bad a throw it was. They're just they're just catching shit, rolling on the ground and catching it. I mean, coming, you know what I'm saying? I mean, all types of shit. Cowboys fucking receivers were dropping every fucking thing. Include that piece of shit, Tavon Austin. On the side, he gets on the sideline on a, per a, a throw that was perfect. I once again throw them to him perfectly. Okay? And this asshole on the sideline jumped up, got the ball, came down with both feet, no one touched him, and he still dropped the ball. He was coming down and he hit the fucking ground and rolled it out of his hands. He's a piece of shit. And you see why now Rams let him go. All he got is speed, no brains. That's it. No ability. Last week he fucking dropped the goddamn short touchdown. Right in his hands. And then play, and got ran on the floor and played like he was hurt. Because he knew he fucking dropped it. Michael Gallup never got open. I don't give a fuck. I mean, if you go to any... Listen, they were 0-3 at one point. They couldn't stop anybody. But the fucking Cowboys receivers, the, 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 core, the core they got now... <laughs> Let me tell you something. I could talk that shit about Dak Prescott if you want to, okay? Go right ahead. I don't give a damn, man. About he hates, sucks, this stuff. Bullshit. Okay? Not only the game plan sucks. Not only the fucking head coach sucks, okay? But this receiving court fucking sucks. And the only one on that fucking squad right now, on the Cowboys squad, who's been a number one receiver. Matter of fact, is a, number, is a starter. The only one who's been a starter before coming to the Cowboys or being the Cowboys was Beasley. The only one. Think about it. The only fucking receiver who was a starter, a sure starter on any team. Combined receiving core was Beasley. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Dez is gone. Okay. But Dez talked his, he talked his way off this team. So I'm not going to fucking look back on that. Fuck him. Okay. Uh, they could have got Sammy Watkins. Alright? You see you see what happened the other night with um the Patriots? And he had the Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon caught that five hundred touch touchdown for um Brady. He was between two defenders. Brady took the worst one of the worst passes he ever threw. And he just took a chance and he threw it downfield. 
Because it was Scott, Josh Gordon. You know why? Because Josh Gordon would go get it. We'll fight for it. These fucking receivers don't fight for fuck. They won't come back for the ball. Nothing. You had Dak Prescott on the sideline. You know, just before they cooked that, kicked the field goal to win it. Right? Knowing they're going to win it. The, the, the Texans. And he's shaking his head. Because he knew his coach ain't nothing but a pussy. Now, you know, how much trouble could you be in, Dak, if you could just go ahead and just do the play other, other than what they fucking tell you to play? Yeah, if you hand off the Zeke and you're faking the run left, they were all, several times he would have been clear sailing. <clears throat> clear sailing. Why won't they let this guy run the ball, man? He, he, he was knocked down how many times last night? How many times? He was, he was running for his life the entire fucking night almost. And the only time that he felt clear when he was handing the ball off to Zeke, where he could have faked it, where they all went fucking left or right, and he was clear sailing. Never had the ball. You know what? I've made this, this big thing about Eagles fans, right? <clears throat> years and years ago, years ago, okay, decades ago, how they always screamed and cried and moaned when they started to become good and we, under Ron Jaworski and uh, Dick Vermeil. And, uh, and every time Roger Starbuck got back on that field and he went to a big fight and close game, Roger always pulled it out and just, just dicked him. Roger always found a way to dick them. Okay? And it's like the Eagles were always a pussy waiting to be fucked. Right? And the Eagle, and the Eagle, Eagle uh, teams were so pissed for losing. Okay? They were just trying to get good and they were always so pissed for losing to the Cowboys. They always came up with the phrase, well, you know, we didn't, the Cowboys didn't beat us. We beat ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We beat ourselves. And I just to laugh at that all the time. I mean, laugh just, just cracked the hell up. It irritated me, but I laughed. Until Danny White took over for Roger. And then the Eagles were fine. <laughs> you know? The Eagles were fine after that. Because we knew that White wasn't going to do the uh, dicking. He was a pussy. Pretty much. But, you know, last night, I'm here to tell you, this team beat itself. Easily could have blown this game out, man. Easily. It's just fucking, what the fuck is going on? I'm just tired of it. I'm not even going to try to speculate. I'm not going to try to guess it. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm asking a rhetorical question. An answer I already knew, to, knew about. No, no for it. So, we'll play it out. Fifth game of the season, two and three. The rest of the fucking the conference is two and three, except for the uh, um, Redskins. Let me tell you something. The Redskins are two and one. Even if the Redskins last lose tonight, they'll still be in first place. <laughs> is that the only comfort I have right now? That's the only comfort. Because I tell you, I want to take a bet. I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a gun advocate. But I would like to take a bat, okay? Travel to fucking Texas and find some red-headed motherfucking goofy-looking cocksucker, okay? All right? I don't know, I, I, I don't know him right away. It doesn't matter. Just find one with red head and look at him. I know who it, and who it be. And just bash his skull in. Bash it until the bleeds the only way down the block. Yeah, I said it. Let them fucking kick me off the goddamn... Let, me, let them kick me off YouTube. I mean it, bro. I want to bash his fucking skull in. You know, if it wasn't for the fact that um, that um, Jerry Jones is probably close to death, I would kill him first. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, 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 right now I feel like um, Vito Corleone, okay? A young Vito Corleone. All right now, see, listen, forget about how I'm going to do it, okay? Just know that you owe me a favor, y'all, you get Cowboy fans. And, I'm do it, and when, I'm, when it's done, just know you owe me a favor, that's all. I'll reason with him. I'll reason with him, all right? Just know you owe me a favor. <laughs> oh, my God, man. I 
I know what to expect to see. Okay? But I do know one thing. I am not happy with this fucking um 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 we see him go. You just saw you saw Blake Jarwin look pretty he had a nice catch, right? Dak him Dak was throwing some fucking good balls, man. So he, you know, he was he he in fact he did some good plays, man, that he was knew he was caught and he got that ball downfield. Knew he they got they had him. He had this, he was running for his fucking life. This this uh, front line didn't do his real job last night. Didn't do it. Didn't block for Zeke. It was that. What did Zeke get? Eventually get uh, ninety yards. But Zeke, he was he was under duress too. He was you know he didn't even throw to him much last night. <clears throat> but but what I'm saying to you is that um, hey, you know what pisses me off? Rico Gaddis had a absolutely nice catch, man, and, and catch and run. And you didn't see him again. You didn't see him again. He was blocking. He did a pretty good blocking job. But you never saw him again. Nico was strong, man. I saw he saw, took one defender man, put the defender on his ass. Rico Gaddis. You saw him catch that one ball. You said, okay, we can open up the field with him. Try again, Dak. They never saw him again. They never put him back on the field. Maybe they wanted, maybe they wanted Swain to be the one. And if, when Rico looked good like that, oh, no, 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 can't have that. Take him off the field. Don't worry because if I take out Garrett, Linehan's gone himself. So don't worry about that. But you know what? You know, who, know what? You know what? Um, knowing Jerry Jones would do. You know what he would do? He would take a dead ass Garrett. He would fucking tie him to a a a, 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 a rail, a, a fucking a spike. Put him in the middle of the goddamn um, sideline field, okay? And put a clipboard in his hand and, and like like pinned to his chest and shit, and, and with sunglasses on. And the, and the headphones on, and then and, and act like he's play caller. He would do it. I would. I wouldn't put it past that motherfucker. Because Jerry Jones fucking crazy. I knew that. Yeah. Cowboys. Who we play next? <clears throat> 